Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your ballet blonde, fantasy dress. Adesso come stai, tradita da una storia finita e di fronte a te l'ennesima salita. Un po' ti senti sola, nessuno che ti possa ascoltare, che divida con te i tuoi guai. Mai, tu non mollare mai, rimani come sei. Segui il tuo destino, perché tutto il dolore che hai dentro non potrà mai cancellare il tuo cammino. Allora scoprirai che la storia di ogni nostro minuto appartiene soltanto a noi. Ma se ancora resterai persa senza una ragione, che ti piglia le notti in cui il rimorso ti sveglia per la paura di sbagliare ma se ti ritroverai senza stelle da seguire tu non rinunciare mai credi in te voglia di stringersi poi I'm Cognac with Elaine, and I am here with James Lamontia, the owner of this fabulous art gallery in Northport, Long Island, and I am here to discuss a very important evening. Tell my audience what's going on this evening. This evening is an unbelievable event hosted by 25A Magazine. Mm -hmm. It's a private party for their readers, and it's going to be featuring the artwork of Peter Max, which is a retrospective and an unbelievable show. About 100 paintings. 100 paintings, Correct. my goodness. Correct. It's a retrospective work starting from 1960 to current. Wow. Well, of course, everyone knows who Peter Max is. He's so famous for so many pieces of work. He's worked for the, the Grammys and all kinds of other rock events, and rock, rock and Roll Hall of Fame, <laughs> all kinds of wonderful things. And his name has been associated with so many, so many projects and so many famous people. Now, tell my audience, how were you approached to do this event tonight? That's a great question. They actually were looking for a venue for this retrospective, and they wanted it here in New York wanted it on Long Island, and they did a search, basically. They wanted to find an established gallery, a gallery with great following. Um, we're 26 years old, this gallery, so it's probably one of the older galleries on Long Island. They approached me last fall to host it, and it took me about 30 seconds to decide to do it or not. It was like, absolutely yes. How long ago did they approach you? Fall, fall of 2015. Wow, and it took that long to accumulate all this artwork and Correct. put it in the gallery. Correct. Also, he's busy painting and all. He wanted to make sure he went out far enough that we had the best possible collection for his, uh, for his Lo Long Island collectors. And he chose, I mean, I'm sure he's done way more than 100 pieces of work. Sure. 
but he chose these specifically. Why did you? Why do you think he chose these specifically? They're grouped. Like as you go through this show, you'll see pizzas that are patriotic, featuring the Statue of Liberty. Um, you'll see pizzas with the the twin towers. You'll also mm -hmm. see uh, an homage to the Impressionists. Uh, a French scene, so you're getting a big eclectic mix, and that's what a retrospective is. It's not going to be one theme, it's going to be across the board. Mm -hmm. So it's a great mix, and again, the fact that he did it here, I always yeah, love to say. Because there's so many places in New York. There's sure. places in the Hamptons, there's For places sure. in Manhattan, but he cho they chose your art right. gallery. Because of our history, because uh, a lot of famous artists approached us. We have the Dr. Seuss estate that does an exhibition here every year. We're approached regularly by top artists. And also, but I like to say it's a testament to Long Islanders because he knows the people on Long Island collect fine art. They want pieces like Peter well, Max. Especially here on the North Shore. Sure. You know. Now tell my audience, do you have a favorite piece here? I do. You do? I do. What is it? It's the Statue of Liberty by far. Why that? Why the Statue of Liberty? First off, because between uh, himself and Lee Iacocca, they actually raised all the funds to re uh, restore it in the 80s. Um, very patriotic. I'm an American, and when I look at that piece, it just so makes me feel So am I, proud. darling. So am right? I. I'm, an, Amer I'm an Italian American, but I'm American. Same here. <laughs> <I see that. laughs> but when you look at the Statue of Liberty, the way when her eyes stare at you, you just want to stop, and it makes you really feel proud to be an American. There's something about that piece that's perfect. Now tell my audience a little bit more about the, this gallery, the history of this gallery, and why sure. you decided to open. What, were you were an artist? Was, were you inspired yeah, by a, uh, artists? Absolutely. I was a uh, fine artist. I graduated art school. Don't remember when. I, I can't tell we, you. The we year, won't say. We won't ago. say. And um, I was managing a gallery in Manhattan uh, on Madison Avenue. But while doing that, I had about four exhibitions of my work. But I was selling other artists, and I actually enjoyed selling their work more than creating it myself. So I was 26, and I decided to open a gallery. And I started looking for locations in Manhattan, and then just slowly moved east until I found this town, Northport Village is sort of a Norman Rockwell town, classic Main Street, it's Americana, and that was 26 years later now. So. 26 years ago, that's sure. fabulous. But you must be so proud of this little art gallery. every day. Yeah, well sure, <laughs> look at this place, it's gorgeous. Now, what's going to be next here at the gallery, besides Peter Max? Of course tonight we'll be experiences fine art and it's beautiful sure. pieces of uh, art but what's next at the gallery we're talking to a um, a photographer now who does um, wild horses photographs of wild horses mm -hmm. uh, we're putting together an exhibition in August for that where Linda Stotts who's an artist from Colorado does these amazing paintings um, she calls a technique Bella Rota where she a paints these pieces. Oh, I love break. the way you say that. Bella Rota. It's a Bella Rota. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, beautiful. Beautiful broken, yeah. yeah. Broke. She, she tears the pieces, puts a collage. That's in September, wonderful artist. After that, we are um, probably doing a master show, mm -hmm. and then in October, fingers crossed, and then um, uh, Dr. Seuss will be in uh, November again. Do you, do you go to other galleries to sure. find out what the competition is? Uh, I don't do it to find out what the competition's doing, but I but I just love art, so I'm always out just to experience art. On my day off, I'll be in a museum or in a gallery, and people say you're in the right business when on the day off you're doing what you do for a living. So, it's just. Are you going to be tomorrow at uh, Art Hampton? I am not actually. I'm going you're to be. You're not. Here. I'm going to oh be here. wow, that's where everybody's going to be really? tomorrow night. Yeah, uh, I will be here. It's all about okay. Peter Max for the next four days, actually. Okay, so that you have to concentrate on that. For sure. I would like you to tell my audience yeah. a week ago to find out more information. What is the website? The website is lamantiagallery.com. L A M A N T I A gallery.com. Okay, beautiful. And tell us where you're located. Northport Village, 127 Main Street, right in the center of town, Northport Village. James, darling, yes, you're precious. <laughs> Give me Thank a kiss. You. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Yeah. Pig Champagne Kisses. Darlings, I'm Cognac Willalane, and I'm here with Tracy Stern, and we're here for the Peter Max exhibition right here at this gorgeous gallery. 
Uh, so Tracy, tell my audience how you found out about this event this evening. I was invited by um, 25A Magazine, uh, Chase Backer, and I'm a big Peter Max fan. So I see you're wearing the dress, yes. the dress, gorgeous. Thank now, you. How, like, tell my audience a little bit about how you found out about Peter Max and why you love his art so much. Well, it's funny that you should say that because when I'm a child of the 70s and me too, uh, and I happened to had had all the sheets in my room. I had a pink and yellow Peter Max room, all the sheets, bedding, posters. Um, even today, right now in my house in New York City, I still have all the Zodiac, um, his whole line of Zodiac plates and dishes oh and God. all the collectibles. I didn't know you were such a collector of all his artwork. Not actually the art, but mostly like the housewares and things like that. So I'm a bohemian babe. <laughs> now let me ask you something. Did you know what you, when you acquired all this, the sheets and the bedding and everything, I mean, did you know it was Peter Max at that time in your life or later on you found out about it? My mom told me it was Peter Max and she's very artistic. Uh, My whole family is very design oriented artist. So. We appreciate that. So you have quite a bit of memorabilia, and it's very old, very, very nostalgic. And, and that is why you love Peter Max so much. Yeah. And I want you to tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now. I know that you're big with the, the exotic tea and other things that you're working on. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you're doing? Well, I happen to love design, and I'm doing interior design projects now, so creating my own line of wallpapers and fabrics. Oh, that's fascinating. Hey. That's fascinating. <laughs> yes. Can you tell my audience um, where we could go and learn more information about that? Do you have a website? Yes, I have a lifestyle company, TracyStern.com, and it, I have a line of skateboards, very psychedelic, so they're Peter Max inspired. And you're still doing the tea, right? I have, my, I have two tea companies, yes, that I'm the that's face. That's what and makes you famous, the darling. That's what made you famous. Yes. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you, and I hope, pleasure. And I hope you enjoy all the artwork. And thank you so much for the thank interview, you. Taylor. You're beautiful. Thank you. And we'll be, we'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more interviews. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and I'm here with Mr. Chase Backer, the publisher of 25A Magazine, and it's all about Peter Max, famous artist. P so tell me, Chase, tell me about this event this evening. Why Peter Max? Why did you choose him uh, to do a story on and to create this whole scenario? Well, Peter Max's office contacted us, 25A Magazine, and asked if... Uh, we would like to have him do a, a, a artwork for a publication, which, you know, I was very flattered and I uh, accepted right away. Uh, Peter Max has been a, my favorite for many years, and he, uh, to me, has designed many uh, publications. He's, he's been on Time, uh, Life Magazine, New Yes, Week. I know. And for it's me to, ha to have... Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. And to have him do uh, 25A just makes it really, you know, leg legitimizes what I do. And, and uh, you know, they contacted me because they're doing it something... validates you. It validates, that's the word. Thank you so much. And uh, th what, what he's doing here uh, in, in Northport is great. He's uncreating some new artwork. And uh, so uh, he's, he did two artwork for us. He did uh, one with his image on it, and he did one with, uh, with the image of myself called The Publisher. I see, I see that. What, he did a marvelous yes, job. It really amazing. captures you, yes. captures you, you know, captures your charm. And, and Thank you. Thank really you is a beautiful, it's a beautiful yeah. project that he made you really look terrific. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy the way he looks. It's amazing. I'm getting a lot of recognition. I'm very thankful for, for him uh, to do such a wonderful job for me. So I'm, I'm very happy to invite a, a lot of my friends here to come and take a look at the, the new art that he's produced and uh, to just, you know, check out the, the you know, see if we can uh, get some purchases going on and hopefully uh, we'll get to see my, my uh, image also here. I don't know if it's here or if it's coming. I, it's right over there, Tom. Oh, it's here? Yes. Okay. All right, great. I'm going to go take yes. a look at it. Thank you. I want you to tell my audience now a little bit more about 25A Magazine. We've talked in the past about the publication. Tell me, audience, how often does the magazine, the print uh, copy, come out? 
we have we come out every month. Uh, we um, we have eleven issues. We combine uh, December and January. January is kind of a slow month. Everyone's out of town, so what we do is we we print uh, eleven issues where every every month. Um, people love the magazine. I'm very happy. It's, it's you know, it's very glamorous. Very Thank glamorous. You. Thank you so In much. In fact, my boss from LongIsland.com says it's. It's truly a very glamorous, glossy magazine. Thank you, thank you. We we keep uh, improving it, you know, with every issue. We want to make sure that we get people excited and keep them uh, reading. So we have a lot of beautiful images in there, and Peter Max being on the cover and, and doing a story with him inside. Again, we've done them in the past, but doing it again is, is a wonderful treat for us and for our readers. Who's going to be on the cover of next month? Next month is a big surprise. We'll, you, we'll see. We'll wait. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know personally. I want you to tell my audience where we go to find out more information. What is the website? Uh, yeah, you can go on 25amagazine.com and you could flip through the pages of uh, this month's issue as well as the past uh, issues. So um, 25amagazine.com. Wonderful. Give me a kiss. Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Bola Lane, and we are here at La Mancia Art Gallery in Northport, Long Island, and it's all about Peter Max. And I'm here with Cover Girl, Ms. Joy Marks. How fabulous to see you on the cover of this magazine. You truly look amazing. Thank you so much. Tell my audience how this all happened for you, that you that they requested for you to be on the cover of the magazine. I actually went to a party for um, Geraldo Rivera and actually then Kimberly Guilfoyle. But at Geraldo's party, I decided I wanted to be on the cover. Really? Yes. And what do you what do you think about Twenty uh, Five A Magazine? Tell my audience why you love the magazine so much. I love the articles, the advertising, the quality of the paper, the distribution, everything. And I love Chase Becker. I think he's amazing. Christopher Pape. Everyone. Very professional team. Great reviews about everyone. Well, you, I must tell you, every single photo of you, you look really beautiful. And a wonderful Maggie Norris, my designer. Oh my God, the hats, the dresses, everything, everything you wore in the magazine. Everything. Now was this hat, of course. Tell my audience. This Maggie. is an old hat from Suzanne of Madison Avenue. Well, I love Suzanne. Still, always love her. And I'm wearing an old Roberto Cavalli. It was so hot out. It's gorgeous, though. Gorgeous. I Maggie's suit earlier at the Four Seasons. I saw that. Yeah. You know, that dress reminds me of what my mother used to make me. My mother used to be a seamstress, and she used to make buttons just like that. Oh, oh, beautiful buttons. All of her, her clothes. Now, I noticed that the photos were very much inspired of you, of Rita Hayworth. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I did interview the daughter, Princess Ya yes, Yasma Khan. Yeah. Yes. I love Rita. And she told me such a sad story about Rita Hayworth. Really sad. It really she developed early Alzheimer's. It started in her forties. I know, she told me that. And, and the daughter told me that it's a very interesting story because she told me that she took her mother to a doctor and they were staying at a hotel room in New York City and Rita Hayward looked into the mirror and said, now, and saw her daughter's reflection in the background and said, and who are you? So oh, when she told terrible. me that story, it just like oh. broke my heart. It really the did. The whole thing is very heartbreaking because she had trouble remembering her lines and if she got her own daughter very early on set, which so is unusual. So sad, so sad. But she was such a beautiful actress oh. and my mother just truly adored her. And I think Princess Yasmin Aga Khan is almost about the same age as me. And my mother idolized Rita Hayward, so it was interesting. Good my mother. I know, I, saw, I read the article, I saw the whole thing. I read the article and I know my mother idolized her and she was such a beautiful star and, and she was a big influence, your mother. And this is why you wanted to be like Rita Hayworth. Am I right about that? Yes, I love Rita Hayworth. My mother called her the love goddess. Everyone knew her as a love goddess. Now, did you have a favorite movie 
um, that she was in that you really loved the most? I love the movie, Gilda. Oh, my God. That dress that you wore, that black dress on the cover? I'm going to be wearing Gilda. it again. <laughs> Are you wearing it to the Harper? No, I'm saving that for my cover party. One of my three outfits that Maggie Norris is doing for me. Yeah. Just gorgeous. And of course, I read so many wonderful things about you that you're a philanthropist. And you've, of course, I know you go to all the events in the Hamptons. And you also go to so many things, um, so many things here in New York City. And, and of course, this, this art opening. Uh, Peter Max, uh, tell me, what do you think of his artwork? I love his artwork I always have. In fact, I had his wallpaper when I first got married. Oh my God, that's hysterical. Isn't it? Everybody was talking about his wallpaper. And yes, you had to have. I had to have it. And of course, his paintings are all of my friends have his artwork. And I was hoping tonight to actually buy a piece from my new home in Florida. That's right, you're moving to Palm Beach. Yes, I am. One of your new locations. But not just that, but you also are a pastry maker, and I didn't know that about you. I make beautiful cakes. Oh my God. I had my own bakery at one time. Very gourmet, very custom. That's the, that's the true artist in joy. She is a true artist, a true bakery maker, and she loves the arts, and that's why she is here today. Enjoying this wonderful magazine. Tell my audience so we can go to find out more information about you as a philanthropist, as a cake artist, as a pastry maker. Where can we go? Tell my audience your Facebook page. 25A Magazine. You can read the article online or pick up a copy anywhere in New York City or the Hamptons or maybe even Palm Beach. And we can follow you also on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook and also you can look online for all the information. It's all there. Thank you, Joy. Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darling. There's more interviews coming up. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. Mr. Peter Max, famous artist, photographer. He's done so many things. He's worked with the Grammy Awards and the Rock of Hall of Fame. And now he's here tonight. Tell my audience, this must be a true thrill for you to be here at this gallery. What does it mean to you? I love, I love having art shows. This is something I love doing. I love drawing. I love painting. I love having gallery and museum shows. And this is truly a wonderful, wonderful Thank show. You. Thank you. And we can see more of your work, can't we, at uh, petermax.com. That's course, the website. Of course you can. And we can follow you on Facebook too, yeah, right? In a million places. Well, Peter, you are a wonderful inspiration to all artists out there. Do you have any form of advice that you could give artists today, young artists today? To just draw, paint, and love your work. Love doing your work. Peter, you're the best. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the Cognac Show. dressed to impress one of a kind girl. This has been a crybaby productions, darlings.